Good morning, Marcus Scotti, former sanitation enforcement agent for the city of New York, wiping out corruption, abuse, ticket quotas, all kinds of stuff, staying in my lane. Today's uh, November 3rd, 2017, it's a Friday, Sunday is New York City Marathon, Tuesday is Election Day, and um, I guess I want to talk about the bigger picture because I think that I keep saying... DSNY and I keep mistaking it for DNC. <laughs> you know, like the, it seems that the corruption was, is interchangeable at the democratic level. And you saw, I mean, for example, Donna Brazil, right? Donna Brazil throughout the, you know, the democratic primary between Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. I'm going to tie it into the DN, to the DSNY lawsuit in a second, but I want to, I want to demonstrate how the bigger picture affects the little picture. And how by affecting the little picture, you affect the bigger picture. That's that's the point of it. So Donna Brazil um, published an article. She published a book, but she also published an article in Politico, uh, I believe, yesterday and well, two days ago. I'm a little late on the news, but it's not. it wasn't actually news. It was she. she's revealing what she's revealing. And Donna Brazil, just, just if you don't know who she is, she's the... She was the uh, DNC chair, the replacement DNC chair woman for that replaced Debbie Wasserman Schultz during the primary when Debbie Wasserman Schultz got caught cheating uh, and favoring Hillary Clinton and denied it all on national television. Donna Brazil, African American, black African American woman of color, came in to save the day. Now, did she save the day? Now, she she just released a. Uh, She's been quiet for a year. But now, all of a sudden, you know, people like myself and, uh, you know, not just myself, millions of people that had a like view were screaming from the rooftops that the uh, even Bernie Sanders himself was saying that the DNC was corrupt. They were laundering money. They were favoring Hillary Clinton. Uh, the, 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 the media was in collusion with Hillary Clinton's campaign. All of the superdelegates were being paid and were in collusion with the Clinton campaign. That the Clinton campaign and the, 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 the um, Clinton Foundation were interchangeable with the DNC. Now, we were saying all these things a year ago. And people were, you know, they were accusing us. They were throwing us under the bus. They were saying that we're crazy, that we're conspiracy, conspiracy theorists, sexist, right-wingers, racist. You're racist. You're misogynist. You're... But now, an Af- you know, an African American woman of color comes out on Politico and says it, and now she's an insider. What did she say? She confirmed what we were saying all along that Clinton Foundation were using big uh, donor parties to finance, uh, to go to break, to break campaign finance rules, and accept more money than they were the legal uh, twenty seven hundred dollars that they were allowed to. To take so what they were doing was having these giant parties that would um, this is only this is only one one form of it the rest was coming into the Clinton Foundation but this is one form of it where they were they were feeding uh, the DNC was being fed through large donors under the impression that that money was going down ballot to help other candidates so Donna Brazil went on wrote a wrote a piece yesterday and said that ninety nine point five percent of that money. Of the eighty-two million dollars collected by the Clintons in the name of supporting down ballot tickets all across the country uh, went right into their pocket. Right, so they were they were laundering. That's a money laundering scheme. That's illegal. It breaks all kinds of finance, you know, campaign finance laws. Pow, caught. So. But now, you know, this, what's the consequence? What's the consequence? We were saying it a year ago. Bernie Sanders' uh, campaign manager, you know, came right out and said it. He, they, they were saying it on national television. CNN ignored it. MSNBC ignored it. Rachel Maddow uh, and the like. They all ignored it. So, you know, here's the difference, though. Donna Brazil was being paid handsomely, you know, right? All the consultants that were paid to shut the hell up. Shut your goddamn mouth and do as you're told. They were being paid handsomely, you know. And and here, the tie-in is, you know, DSNY employees that are, you know being paid to shut the hell up. Shut your goddamn mouth, right? Are you being paid 
for your for your silence. So you know, you know what's what's your what's your story? Why are you you know why why are you still quiet? You know on the corruption. You know they for me they lied, they lied about the D, DSNY lied about the ticket quota, right? They lied about the ticket quota. Why is that important? It's important because DSNY in my case said that I wasn't doing the work, right? And what is the work? The work is to write tickets. And I was able to, to satisfy that work. It's show up, have good, you know, time and leave, you know, don't be late. I was never late, right? Zero. I never, it was never late. It's ironic, but I was never, never late. And uh, maybe absent two, three times. But I always used my time and documented my, my sickness and lateness and all that, any, any of that, right? So on the two main, you know things in the job title, which is show up and then write 10 tickets. I was outstanding, you know, but but according to DSNY, I didn't do my job. So that's why the ticket quote is important to prove, and it has been proven. That, you know, we, we have the we have Ortega in his own words saying it. We have the Burke emails. So, you know, and they, they repeatedly lie, and they continue to lie. They continue to lie about it, and try to shame me into a be, being a bad person, you know, and, and uh, you know, am I a bad person? No, I was, I'm, I'm, I, I'm a guy who refused to, to, you know, give into a bullshit system, you know, and fought back and, and held my ground and nothing has changed, you know, and uh, I'm the person of integrity. They're, 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 you know, they're, they're crooked in the worst way. So, I don't know, that's all I wanted to say is that, you uh, yeah. Do I have a ticket? <laughs> the, the title of this is uh, Conti uses daily video quota to defeat to defeat the SNY at their own game. Damn right, damn right. Do I have a Do I have a video quota? I don't know. I don't know. Do I have a video quota? I don't know. I keep pumping them out. The thing I want to say is, is this okay to the to the attorneys right? We're, we're a year into this or, you know, a year into this litigation and traps have been set. More information is coming in, right? You, you know, okay. Now, you have, you, have to, you, have to, you have to think about this. I know that the DSMY, you guys, the attorneys, will have to answer at some point. Right now it's January 1st. I know you might push it back again, but who cares? At some point you will have to answer to the... To the uh, appeal, it is an appeal. Anyone, I, I urge people to read it. I don't see many people really commenting on the content of that, but it's down below. The full, uh, my full accusation, all the write-ups, everything is in those files. Everything you want to know about this case is in those files, right? And now, to the the attorneys will have to answer that, and their date is set at uh, at, at right now, January first. They'll have to they'll have to answer the appeal, right? And in that appeal, right, you, you keep people like keep asking me, Conti, why are you holding back on on these recordings? Why are you holding back on on evidence? Because it's clear that they're lying, right? That's what that's what attorneys are paid to do. They they have that degree of separation where where the the SMY sits in a little room and they concoct this stupid bullshit bunch of lies, right? And then they say, okay, well that's our story, right? It's not the truth. What I'm telling you is the truth. They're just telling you a bullshit that contradicts the truth, right? So, so when their attorneys, the, the reason that I'm holding back is that when their attorneys finally respond, they're gonna they're gonna lie because they're looking at these videos, they're looking at the evidence presented. But I keep telling you all along that there's more. Now, the the, the, the one of one of the one of the things is the two o two o six book. That's very critical. So the supervisors inside make some copies, get get it to me, you know. Get the get get copies of that two hundred six book and send it to me right now. I may already have some, right? I may already have some. You know, you don't know what I have. So, what what I don't what I don't want what I don't want you to do is I want you to just admit the wrong, and you won't you won't force me to do that, right? That's my point. That's my point. I only I'm only going to release stuff if you lie, right? If you if you keep trying to try to paint me as the bad guy rather than the person of integrity that just simply 
you know, stood up for himself. If you keep doing that and you try to bury this case and you try to, you know, prevent me from restitution for harm done, from receiving restitution for harm done, this is what I have to do, right? And it's, you know, again, it's not going to stop. You don't, you don't, I, I'm leaving it ambiguous for that reason because that's all I have, right? I'm just one, one guy right now. I'm the one guy out in the park, right? And, and you, you, you know, you have a, an army of 2,000 lawyers and this is, this is the reason why I have to, I have to do what I have to do and the way I have to do it, right? You don't know who, what my resources are. You, 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 it's very likely you'll never find out. But the, the fact is that you're going you're gonna to have to respond, right? You're going to have to respond. And you could stipulate at any point. I, you know, I suggest you do that because, again, I'm getting hit when all you people are leaking like, like crazy. They're leaking like crazy, right? So, you know, do the right thing, you know? Do the right thing. Peace out.